Hi guys, today we are going to do the matrix search problem. This is a very easy question, but uh, we basically try to approach in it in order of n square time, n into m, because the matrix is n cross m. And this is a quite common interview question. We will go through the question and understand how to approach it in an optimized manner as well as discuss the brute force approach. So we are given a n cross m matrix where every row and column is sorted in increasing order. What this means is like uh, this is the 3 cross 3 matrix here the rows are, are inserted such that they are sorted in increasing order. Also the columns are sorted like 3 then 44 then 57. Similarly, the second column as well as the third column are all sorted. We can see them. This is the primary condition and we are given a target element which we have to find. So the very brute force approach that comes to our mind is we would start from the 0, 0, 0th position and then we would uh, traverse to each index like uh, uh, for i is equal to 0 i is less than n i plus plus then for each jth column we would uh, traverse and then check if uh, the current element is equal to the um, target element so in this case if we have to find the last element then uh, this approach would give us n into m time complexity right where n is the number of rows and this is the number of columns so this is uh, this is an easy approach but this is not the efficient one and this is not what the interviewer is trying to ask us so in this approach how to go about it we start from the last column and the zeroth row why because if suppose we are uh, we are asked uh, if we are asked to find 44 as the element then what we would do is if the current element is smaller than the target element we would traverse to the next row because presently this we know that since the array is sorted so this is the largest element amongst the row because the last element represents the highest number of that row so in in case the present element is smaller than the target element then we move to the next row then we come to element 54 but what we have to search is 44 so uh, we would go to the left side because if we go to the next row then it is obvious because the columns are also sorted in increasing order it is obvious that the next element will be greater than the present element but the target element is smaller than the present element so since it is sorted in increasing order so we would move to the left side okay so we move to the left side again now we encounter 55 now we encounter 55 now we check if the present element is um, greater than the target or it is less than so here we check if uh, that it is greater than the target so we again move to the left side okay and now we encounter the required element if suppose we were required to find out 58 in this case then what would be our what would be our thought process we would again start from the first row and the last column then 58 is our target element so we would move down 54 is less than 58 so we would again move down 69 we encounter 69 69 is greater than 58 so we move to the left because in this row this is the maximum element so it is obvious that we would encounter smaller element to the left okay so 
we move to 60. Now we check that 60 is greater than 60 is greater than the target element. So we again move to the left. Now 58. 58 is less than the target element. So in this case we cannot move down because if we move down then we encounter the end of the matrix here it is the end so we cannot move any further down here we encounter the terminating condition the terminating condition as you could all see is moving beyond zero moving beyond the number of columns or moving beyond the number of like uh, all the z, um, like i is less than equal to i is less than zero j is less than zero j is greater than the number of columns and i is greater than the number of rows so this would be the condi uh, terminating condition let's code it so here we i have already shown the template uh, i is equal to n i is uh, c in n and m and then i take in the array input the matrix input then i enter the element that is required to be searched then i would take two variables i is equal to zero i am starting from the zero at row and the column is m minus one because it is zero index, zero index space so i am taking these two values then i'll i'll show the terminating condition if i find i is greater than or equal to 0 and j is greater than or equal to 0 and i is less than n n is the number of rows and j is less than m it has to be the intersection of all these if either of the four goes out of bound then we are we ought to terminate at that point so we check if the element at the current position equal to equal to the search value so at this point say so what are we required to output we are required to output 0 in case it is not found because 32 is not present in the matrix and 1 in case it is present so we'll just see out 1 and then return 0 at this point we would get out of the int main function then we I'll write if array of ij is less than search that is uh, I am at 38 and I am required to search 60 so I would move down so then I'll I, uh, I'll increment the row else I'll, uh, I'll decrement the column and in case uh, I uh, I do not terminate from here then I will tell that I haven't formed the element and then I'll exit from the function let's test it for the sample case J was not declared. Okay. So we found out that this element does not exist. Let's check it for a number that is present. So um, it shows that it is present. As you can all see that this is a very efficient approach we aren't we are just using one for uh, while loop like it would be very less uh, it would have a very less complexity than running it in order of n into m so I get all the correct answers for the test cases um, so uh, if in case the interviewer asks you asks you this kind of question you are required to in uh, inquire that whether it is sorted along the row and column or just along the row or just along the column and then um, go about solving the answer to him I hope you guys have understood it
thank you for watching bye bye